So there's a new update for Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.6.6 and it came out with a ton of new features, effects and transitions. I'll eventually go into the new features that I enjoy in other videos but today I'll be focusing on the one that I'm most excited about and it's called the scene removal mask. So now you can remove your subject out of the scene without the use of a green screen. So Apple made it sound really easy to use in the release videos but after playing around with it for a little bit you do have to plan your shots beforehand before being able to use and apply the new scene removal mask. So it's not perfect at all. Once you add the scene removal mask from the effects tab, you'll see a question mark beside it. Here you'll see some of the tips and recommendations from Apple. They recommend that you have a static background using a camera that is on a tripod. They also state that you should capture a few frames of the background without the subject at the beginning and the end. And other tips that they have on there, shoot in bright, evenly lit space, preferably indoors. Maintain a good contrast between the subject and background. Just have similar colors and textures. Avoid strong moving shadows on the background. Be good to keep some space between the subject and the background. And last tip they have on there is to avoid complex backgrounds such as windows and bookshelves. So you can't just throw it onto any clip that you have and hope for it to work. But you can definitely try it out and see if it works. But if it wasn't planned out like what Apple suggested, then I don't think you'll get the best results. So let's try shooting this and see how well it does. So what I'm going to do is shoot in front of this plain white brick wall. I'll also grab a shot in front of this black wall afterwards to see how well it does. So I'll have the camera here on a tripod. And now I'm going to shoot a couple of shots and then we'll load it into Final Cut Pro 10 afterwards. All right, before I start shooting, what I'll probably do is take a second before I jump into the scene record just the background and then I'll do that again at the end. Okay, so now we're gonna test this out and see how well it does. Um, we are testing out the scene removal mask in Final Cut Pro 10. Now I'm gonna get out of the shot and record the background again for another second. Okay, so I have both shots here on the timeline. First, let's see how it does with the white background. All you need to do is find the scene removal mask in the effects tab and then drag it on top of your clip. You don't have a lot of options to help modify the mask except for this here. This will help analyze your clips and remove the background based on which you select. First frame, first frame plus the first second after, last frame minus one second, or the last frame. I'll leave that info up again on the screen here in case you missed all that. Okay, so playing around with the white background here, I thought this one would be the easiest one to work with since there's some good contrast between myself and the background, but it didn't do a good job at all. When I do select last frame, it does a slightly better job. I don't think it's usable, but if I crop and zoom in a little bit, it looks a little bit better. So I actually shot this again afterwards to see how it would do with the light in front of me and it was able to remove the background a lot better. So lighting is definitely key when you're using this masking tool. So just make sure the background is evenly lit, which is what Apple suggested anyways. Now with some moving backgrounds added in, if it had more options and sliders to adjust such as feathering, I think it might be usable, but I don't think I can use this for anything other than maybe some fun TikTok videos. Now let's try the black background. It looks better with last frame selected. I actually thought this one would turn horrible, but it did an okay job. Um, if we zoom into my beard here, you can tell that it was struggling a little bit to mask it out. So again, this is far from perfect. It's free and built into Final Cut Pro, but I'm pretty confident they will update this and make it even more powerful later on. With more sliders and options to help modify and change up the mask, I think that's the next thing that they need to do and add on on the next update. And like I said earlier, it's good for fun videos that we want to use for maybe your Instagram Reels or TikTok. But if it's for a big project or a professional video, I definitely won't be using this as it doesn't look professional. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn a cool green screen effect, make sure to watch this video next.